some questions from people. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of people feel a disconnect from the outside world. Why do you feel that is? Well, because they came into the world uh, different. Uh, they came into the world knowing more information, knowing more of who they are, and more of what the world is about than a lot of other people. Now, I'm not saying that all people are like that, because I know that there are people that have really gone through the system and are working at uh, whatever jobs that they're working at, but they're, they're feeling that there's something missing, there's something, something wrong here, that the world should be different. And these people as well, uh, when you talk to them a little bit, feel a disconnect from humanity. And this is this is an indicator for all of us to understand that that's not uh, unnormal. That's pretty normal. Uh, the more of these uh, sessions that I'm doing and the trainings that's going on, uh, we're getting together and talking and finding out that we aren't so different. We're just we just think different than the box, if you know what I mean and that we're outside of that box. And that's that feeling of disconnect. We have a feeling of disconnect when we haven't connected to our true nature, to who we truly are. And once we do that, we don't feel disconnected anymore. We actually feel content. We feel uh, uh, secure in what we're, we're doing um, because that aspect of us that needs to have mm, friends <laughs> if you might say uh, when we when we first break out into into our own concepts and ideas we feel very ridiculed basically from the societal hypnosis mm -hmm. and we feel that that ridicule because it's there uh, it's supposed to be not supposed to be there but it it is there on purpose uh, when humanity itself is going down one path and it's 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 one reality you know one restroom <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but it's one reality uh, when you pop off and you say hey there's other realities here uh, they start pointing fingers and judging uh, you see this 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 hypnotic thing that's going on, this this societal hypnosis, is a self-governing thing. And it governs you and I and everyone else by saying, no, you're outside of the box, get back in here. And so we feel, again, a disconnect when we, we express our true nature. But think about it for a moment. Expressing our true nature is wrong. Why? You know, why is that wrong? Or why is that judged or ridiculed? Everyone should have the free will to do and be who they truly are. Love and allow all people to be. And you will love and allow yourself. And it comes down to having the power. And the power that I talk about in the seminars and in sessions. The power that you need to have is the power to stand for yourself. Very nice. Uh, what is the number one thing you find that people need more than anything? What people need more than anything is recognition. Not recognition for their conscious program self, but recognition of the God, the Goddess within. When you recognize that aspect in a child, in a, in a teenager, in an adult, in, in an elderly person, when you look deeply into them and recognize that aspect of them, they come alive inside. I've seen it so many times uh, in personal sessions, and I've seen it so many times in the events that I have done. When people look into each other's eyes and they see the God, the Goddess within, all of a sudden they come alive. And that part of them that has been suppressed in the earlier question, 
that the part of him that's been suppressed for so many years now comes out because they're recognized because they 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 feel recognized so what we need more than anything is to recognize each other as the living gods that we are and when we do that magic starts to happen because that part of us is source energy that part of us is the great self and so when we look deeper into each other and recognize that that part of us comes out and comes alive in fact there was a there was a um, and I've said it over and over again and you know but there was a tribe in Africa or there is a tribe in Africa that doesn't say hello they say I see you and in response the person says thank you because when you see me I come alive this is what we need to do in the world we need to bring the magic back we need to bring this magic of this great spirit this great spirit that we are bring it back alive in us we've been we have been so bombarded with all kinds of uh, information signals uh, uh, advertisements uh, everything else that makes us feel like we're less than and what we need is recognition Beautiful. so what is the best thing that can happen to a person in training with you or a session with you the greatest thing that can happen is that exactly when they recognize themselves for the first time when they recognize that great being that they are in them and they feel it come alive inside of them and when they do that there's there's procedures to go along to help people dehypnotize and come to that point where they recognize themselves and when they recognize themselves for the first time it's the most beautiful thing you can see because all of a sudden there is this recognition of who I am this recognition this feeling this awakening that happens inside of them and you can watch it it's almost like a flush that comes over them as that great self comes alive in every cell and every atom and it just comes back into full awareness in a person and they realize that they've never been stuck and they have never been trapped and they have never been any of those things that they've been told that they're unbounded and free and that has to be the most beautiful thing to witness and see and to help people achieve in sessions and in training is that when we are we're about to go around and do another tour and this one is is the trans alchemy 101 tour and it's a workshop and we're going to be there for seven days and teach people and train people how to do this because I want other people out there doing it I want other people out there feeling what it's like to see that happen to somebody else and have that happen to other people and you know I'm one person but I think that with many out there doing this it will be a wonderful shift in consciousness thank you very much thank you <laughs>